Good morning, friends. This is uh, your Monday morning reminder that we'll be doing midday prayer Monday through Friday this week. Now, this week is also a special week because uh, we started doing midday prayer about a year ago with uh, the advent of COVID and everybody being locked and forced into our homes and, uh, and having a lot of time <laughs> being able to access uh, Facebook. And uh, as those restrictions are, are starting to dissipate and we're able to gather more in person, um, we kind of felt like this is a season uh, of, of change as well, and that our season of doing these midday prayer videos every week are coming to an end, but we want you, right, the whole purpose of us doing it was to not just give you something to do in your day, but to help you establish a rhythm of coming together, right, to, to turning your attention away from all the rush and hurry and to focus on Jesus Christ. Um, and it's a discipline, right? The Bible is full of instructions to us and, and calling us away from the Russian hurry to embrace disciplines, to embrace um, habits that cultivate within us a desire and a delight in God. In fact, the Apostle Paul, writing to his friend Timothy in 1 Timothy, is, does that very thing. He's encouraging him on how to maintain his own sense of, of faith, how he could cultivate godliness and holiness in his own life, as well as help shepherd the church there in Ephesus. And uh, as he gets to the end of chapter 4 of saying all these things, he, he encourages Timothy. He says, practice these things. Immerse yourself in them so that all may see your progress. Um, the idea there is not that everybody is looking at him and saying, oh wow, look at how amazing Timothy is. But uh, but rather that, that godliness is happening, that, that that is being cultivated and faithfulness is being lived out. And, uh, but the, the first part of that, right, that practice these things, immerse yourself in them. Like That is the thrust of his call to Timothy. And it's what you and I need to hear, right? God has called us to love him in particular kinds of ways and to embrace holiness uh, but to understand that holiness doesn't just happen on accident, that it has to be something that is nurtured and cultivated within our lives as we learn more about who God is and trust in the Holy Spirit. And so it's important for us to maintain these kinds of practices. So this week, as we do midday prayer, what we're going to be doing along the way is doing a little bit of teaching along the way and, and talking about the prayer book, why we do certain things, and how you can embrace it for yourself and either maintain um, this kind of rhythm, this kind of liturgy for your own life, and perhaps even invite other people into it. So uh, so please join me Monday through Friday, 12.15, for this final week, perhaps, <laughs> of, uh, of midday prayer. God bless, and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.